Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance and the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now, what a 24 hours it has been. Bitcoin was absolutely flying yesterday. How good was that? We are at the very early stages of the next bull market, which is really, really nice. Bitcoin's currently trading at 41000 714 US dollars, which is insane. Pushing over 60,000 Aussie dollars yesterday. Really, really nice. There is also quite a lot happening. We've got Brad Garlinghouse. He's 2023's comeback king with XRP. That is bullish. There are updates in relation to the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. As much as it annoys the absolute shit out of us, there are going to be updates coming through uh, very, very soon in relation to that case. Now we've got Mateko, Matako, however you pronounce it, integrating with institutional custody firm backed by Standard Chartered. Very, very nice. We've got Bitcoin rally to 42,000 US dollars uh, fueled by FOMO. And I hope everyone's not FOMOing into anything, guys, because this is how you get wrecked. Uh, we've got Bitcoin price hitting 700,000 US dollars predicted by Adam Back, which is huge in the next two years. That, I mean, it's really possible. Think about it. The, the entire global uh, you know, economy is collapsing at the moment because of interest rates going up, inflation skyrocketing. It's absolute chaos. Anyway, we've got updates in relation to the BlackRock spot ETF as well. Solana updates, which is nice. Hedera Hashgraph. We've got Shiba Inu and IBM Quantum Computing. Now, again, they are actually working with Casper Labs. So very, very nice. I'm going to be going over my three commas bots on obviously OKX. Both are official partners of the channel. There has been some pretty wild stuff going on with those bots in the last 24, 48 hours. And that's I'll get go through that in a second, so stick with me on this. But anyway, let's get into the video. And yes, I'm wearing my Peaky Blinders hat, ladies and gentlemen. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are getting pretty crazy in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. All right, so make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything. It's down there or on the side on your phone, wherever you're looking. Thank you very much, you guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. All right, formalities are out of the way. Straight to the community tab. Yes, I have literally cracked 1,000 videos on YouTube. And uh, that is a lot of videos literally posting up every single day. And thank you very much uh, to every single one of you who watch these videos all the time. You guys rock. Now again, path to altcoin season. I honestly believe the next altcoin season is going to be absolutely wild. Yes, Bitcoin's going to be going crazy. Ethereum will also go crazy as well, because again, these two are essentially the institutional favorites. And there is obviously ETFs for both Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are being created as we speak. And we are currently awaiting in the United States, Gary Gensel's approval, which is freaking annoying. Anyway, we do have large cap altcoins and uh, which I mean, large cap coins as well as the alt season and that, you know, it will flow through. It takes time. But obviously, you know, when these ETFs come through, things are going to get insane. They really, really are like people just don't understand how much money is going to be pouring into this industry. It's going to be absolutely insane. Top old coins in the portfolio. We had Super, we had CFX. Luna Classic has been doing incredibly well. And to be honest, I've got trading bots uh, paired up with USTC, which are doing well also because of the price fluctuations, uh, which is nice. I'm still holding on to my Luna Classic. Luna and Gala as well, making some nice moves. Now, let's go to Coin Market Cap. We have 1.5 trillion US dollars today, $96 billion in volume. That is getting up there. 52% uh, Bitcoin and 17% Ethereum. Again, I would love to see XRP flip that. It has done it before. It will do it again. I'm remaining very positive and bullish. Now, again, we have a nice green candle, or I should say a line right here. Uh, and again, the last seven days has been pretty volatile. 
straight up, which is really nice as well. I should say that the last week, uh, it was trading sideways. Let's have a look in the last hour. And again, it is down today. I think a lot of people were FOMOing in. Don't do that. Just stick to a plan. Dollar cost averaging, in my opinion, anyway, is the best way to invest, really, when you think about it. Anyway, top old coins, we have Super, CFX, Lunk, Luna, Gala, Near Protocol, Constellation, DAG, ICP, and Veracity in the portfolio. Very, very nice. Coins, we have Bitcoin sitting again, 41,708 USD. Ethereum was 2,236 also doing quite well, and I do hold Ethereum. XRP bullish still at $0.62, cents. Solana at $60, Cardano's at $0.40, cents. we have Doge at $0.09 cents as well, TRX $0.10, cents. and Chainlink at $15. And uh, Banking Coins, XLM, there's some interesting updates about that as well at $0.12. Cents. I'm still bullish on XLM also. Now let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And yes, I do have the Wall Street Bull University linked below. This community is growing so much. It's absolutely awesome. I love speaking with everyone in here. Now, this is sitting at around 700 plus members at the moment, almost over 800, which is awesome. Thank you very much to every single one of you. 1,487 posts. There's a lot of information in here. And yes, I've kept it at $8.50 Australian. It's five US dollars a month, which is absolutely nothing. And uh, the people that are using the three commas and OKX trading platform and bots, absolutely wild and uh it's been pretty volatile the last couple of days i'm going to go through that in a second but also i put up all my buys sells trades indicators day trading bots you name it it's up in the wall street bull university and also my dividend stock portfolio which i dollar cost average every single week that is going to be generational wealth uh right there so that's pretty much how i got started on youtube and there is also an, a great chat feature in patreon the wall street bull university where i can speak to everyone directly so join up the link is below ladies and gents now let's have a look at the new three commas app on your phone which is incredible uh now again i just downloaded this uh this morning and uh, this is my actual trading account uh now again with these bots i would highly recommend setting them up on um a desktop or a larger screen because it's a lot easier to do this and uh, it just makes things a lot easier to play around with it but with the app now you can do this which is great so link is below to three commas everything i've got set up with three commas is in the patreon as well you can literally copy my all perpetual futures bots both long and short on a 15x leverage and i'm going to show you these now because i can do this on the app so again this app is going to be really easy for people to see now again i am trading a significant amount of altcoins and again this is the profit that this one bot has made which is insane, 9,897 USDT. That is US dollars, by the way. And uh, I'm trading a lot of altcoins. And I mean a lot of altcoins. All the perpetual futures uh, contracts on OKX, both official partners, of course. Now, yesterday, uh, I had an issue with my bots. Okay, I'm going to be open and honest with everybody. I Last week, I switched on a feature called Beast Mode on 3 commas, and that was playing up with all of my trades and the bots uh, actually actively taking up deals and taking profit. So again, I have been dramatically affected by that. Here are all the altcoins I'm trading in this one bot alone. There is a lot, okay? I've got 143 deals on this one bot. I'm quoting USDT, so I'm taking profit in USDT. And again, this is all linked in the Patreon. I'm using an RSI indicator here on a three minute time frame. RSI length is at seven, signal value is at 30, 1.5% profits. Uh, the safety orders, I've got 30 uh, at the moment. This is my sweet spot. It basically means when the market drops 60%, those safety orders will take, you know, obviously pick up those deals as they move down. Uh, really, really nice. I'm taking 1.5% profit on each deal. Now, people ask me, why are you doing 1.5%? Well, these bots trade nonstop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I want them taking out small profits, but a lot more of them regularly. The bigger your profit, the longer they'll take to close out the deal. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, link is below to the Wall Street Bull University and two, three commas. Go check that out and download the app on your phone now. The new app is there. Make sure you check in for that logo, by the way. Don't get some uh, something else. It's that logo right there. So App Store, and it should be on Android as, as well. Now, let's go to OKX. Now, this has been pretty volatile. I've, you know, as I said to you, I had to close out a significant amount of positions yesterday because I had to literally restart everything, literally. So it took me about three hours to do that. 
uh, because as you can see uh, on my screen, let me just bring this up. 290 open orders and 141 positions is a lot to handle. <laughs> just putting that out there. So I had to individually close every single one of these, both on uh, three commas and on OKX to stop that because of this beast mode feature, which uh, allowed me to trade uh, multiple uh, pair, like, sorry, multiple deals per single pair. So instead of trading just one deal per pair, I was trading like five per single pair, which was just insane. So it was screwing up my entire trading. And uh, that's the reason why I started to see some pretty crazy things happening in the portfolio. Now, 141 positions. This would be impossible to day trade doing this manually. You would only do maybe one or two of your selected altcoins or crypto. Whereas this allows me to trade as many as I like pretty much. Now, with uh, futures on OKX, you can't trade single pairs. Uh, which is, you know, annoying, but essentially you can trade with the multi-bots, which you can trade as many altcoins as I just showed you, and that is enough. So I've got two multi-bots set up. They are linked in the Patreon. Uh, that is my all perpetual futures on 15x leverage, both long and short. And here are the deals currently taking place on a short position. The market is slightly pulling back. Some of these short bots are making profit. Now, where we can see how the bots have gone overnight. Now, yesterday was chaotic. Literally, my bots are still recovering from it, but the short positions you can see are still in profit. Really, really nice. They are making profits. Really nice. And these are the long positions, making seven USDT, five USDT. This is all closed out today. A couple of liquidations, not that many, which is good. Yesterday, because I closed out the positions, yes, I got liquidated. So that's the main reason why, but really picking up nicely. And we're starting again because I switched on a feature called beast mode. Don't do that. Okay, just making that clear. Anyway, that is all on the Patreon. Link is below, ladies and gents. Let's go to Crypto Bubbles. We have CFX up today, Audi, Lunk Classic. Very, very nice. Stacks, Luna, Pepe, Float. Now, Luna Classic, I do hold in the portfolio still. And uh, I remember this was, you know, well over 100 uh, US dollars at the time. And obviously, when the collapse of UST, this completely dropped. And yes, I bought it. Still holding on to it. They need to burn a significant amount of tokens though. That's up 12.9 on the day, 126% on the week and 258% on the month. Where do you get that kind of return in a week? 126% doesn't exist. Stacks also 33% on the day, trading at a dollar USD at the moment. Still up 76% on the week. That is very nice. There are buying opportunities such as Solana. That is down 5.5%, $61. This will potentially have a run up like Ethereum did in the previous bull market. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, we have banking coins. You know, Algo as an example, that is down 2.9% today. I'm still bullish on this, 15 cents. And of course, IOTA, which is doing quite well the last couple of days. And uh, it's up still 90% on the week and 93 on the month, which is nice. Now let's get on to the news. We have Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple's co-founder, legend, has emerged triumphant this year's legal cases with big implications for the crypto's future. He couldn't have done it without the XRP army. That is the truth. Legend. Look at him riding a horse. How good is that? And on rainy Friday night in September, a crowd of thousands filed into the Hammerstein Ballroom, the legendary New York concert venue where Lenny Kravitz played. How cool is that? And uh, it's a place that hosted Grateful Dead, Jane's Addiction, and everyone from David Bowie to Taylor Swift. But the crowd wasn't there for Taylor Swift. They were there for something far more important. They came for the proper party. <laughs> That's really nice. I would have loved to have gone there. But the party's uh, risen to Trey. Can't even say that. Months earlier, the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, had promised that the emerged victorious from the SEC lawsuit, he would throw a proper party to honor and thank the XRP community. Now, Garlinghouse has made this promise back in May. This is basically in relation to this party that took place. Anyway, he predicted he would be on the right side of the law and the right side of history. That is true. And the U.S. District uh, Judge Annalisa Torres ruled that Ripple did not violate securities laws when selling XRP to retail customers as well. So, Garlinghouse delivered the proper party. And uh, on the crowded dance for the Hammerstein, many in the XRP army had flown in from across the nation and around the world, I believe, wore XRP t-shirts. Very, very nice. And uh, he will be very victorious in this case against the SEC still. I'm still remaining very optimistic. And there are updates in relation to the case as well. Now, moving down, we have the Amicus Curiae attorney, Johnny Deaton, discusses the SEC lies. And on Sunday, crypto law founder and Amicus Curiae attorney, Johnny Deaton, shared these views about the SEC discussing SEC courtroom game plans. And uh, 
it's really annoying to see that they're still going on about this, but the human emails still play a massive role in this. And there was no SEC vs. Ripple case related news for investors on Digest Sunday. However, lingering uncertainty about the outcome of the SEC appealing the programmatic sales ruling remained a headwind. As you see in Ripple progress through the final stage of the case, Ripple will be uh, aware the SEC plans to file an appeal, of course, and during the remedies-related discovery process, settlement-related discussions are possible. However, the SEC is unlikely to settle is there if there are uh, reactions to appealing the programmatic sales ruling. If the SEC does not accept the programmatic sales ruling, Ripple may fancy its chances in the courts. And, and an SEC appeal against the programmatic sales ruling could allow Ripple to introduce the famous Hinman-related speech docs. Recent court comments about the SEC give the speech-related docs more weight. Notably, the SEC tried to shield these documents from the public attorney-client privilege on the latest six attempts. They've been trying to hide these emails for a very long time. I'm not going to read this article, but this is bullish. And uh, we have Ripple Labs. Mateco is integrated with an institutional custody firm backed by financial services giant Standard Chartered. And according to the new press release from Mateco, a provider of digital assets infrastructure is integrating with London-based crypto custodian firm Zodia custody, custody as a means of creating a global network for institutions. Bullish. Moving on. Yes, we had the... Bitcoin skyrocketing yesterday, 42K, fueled by panic buying. I just put this article in here because a lot of people panic buy. Do not go stressing and, and FOMOing into something. Stick to a plan, dollar cost average into something. Don't go FOMOing because that's how people get wrecked. And it's making mainstream media and news around the entire planet, of course, even Australian news here. And uh, this is the problem. People start going, oh, I should buy, I should buy. Not how it works. This is why people got wrecked when they bought at the top of the market and the price plummeted down and they got wrecked. This is what happens. Anyway, Bitcoin price hitting $700,000, which is insane, but I would definitely you know, believe it can happen. And Adam Back, a seasoned crypto cryptographer, obviously an early Bitcoin believer, is known for his groundbreaking contribution to the crypto space and Bitcoin. In particular, his company Blockstream is famous for developing a Bitcoin Lightning Network that allows conducting micropayments in Bitcoin making these transactions cheaper and faster than regular Bitcoin payments. And today, Back took to X social media website to stir the Bitcoin community with a bold Bitcoin price prediction. And he's basically saying, I'd take $700,000 per Bitcoin. And he believes that Bitcoin will undoubtedly flip physical gold, which is pumping as well, by the way, hitting an all-time high. And, uh, and it might just happen sooner than we think, perhaps in the halving cycle, thus referring to the approaching Bitcoin halving as a, the major driver of the Bitcoin price in his prediction. Bring it on. Bring it on. Let's move on. Yes, we have $17 trillion coming into this space. And there are updates from relation to BlackRock updating their spot Bitcoin ETF. They update them all the time. And according to the breaking information, BlackRock has just submitted an updated version of the spot Bitcoin ETF S1 filing to the SEC. Bloomberg analysts have reported that the negotiations between the SEC and BlackRock and other spot Bitcoin ETF applicants were continuing. Bullish. Now, moving on, we have, uh, I'm not going to get into the Solana news, but Hedera Hashgraph's latest tech is making waves in green innovation. And uh, how can you not like Hedera Hashgraph? All right. And everything's going green. Now we have TLDR, Envision Blockchain Showcase Blockchain AI based platforms for emission tracking and carbon credit management at the COP28 using Hedera Hashgraph technology, which is completely green. The whole world is going to be, uh, you know, emission carbon free by 2030. So again, Hedera, nice. And the platforms offered advanced search data comparison features and integration with UNF's triple C methodologies to enhance transparency and efficiency in voluntary carbon markets. Key figures in the UN climate change uh, secretary right here praise these developments for their potential to streamline and d uh, digitize climate change mitigation methods significantly. There you go. Hedera is massive. Anyway, Shiba Inu as Shibarium daily transactions hit a record levels of 7.84 million, which is nice. And Shiba Inu, the price in the last 24 hours has seen a surge of 4% immense, the significant surge in daily transaction volume. And uh, Shibarium scanned transaction of 7.84 million as of December 3rd. That was uh, two days ago compared to 5.11 million as of December 1st. And uh, really nice. And the chart from the Siberium scan reflects the flat pattern in transactions, not only since the past month, but over the last year. And uh, and its daily transactions have hovered around 700,000, which is insane. I'm still bullish on Shiba and I do hold it. 
Now, just a quick one as well. I'm not going to get into this too much, but IBM quantum computers mean for crypto asset security. IBM is rolling out several quantum computing projects that are likely to spur a wave of quantum algorithms that pose new opportunities. No quantum efforts have so far been able to be used in corporate applications, but these may, may not be very far away from the IBM launch. However, the crypto custodians may need to step up their game as they are withstand the level of attacks enabled by quantum algorithms. Quantum computing, the quantum financial system, the QFS system is real. It is happening. I've put up the list and most of those altcoins, or I should say the utility coins that are in my portfolio are part of the QFS system. IBM is building out these computers, as I mentioned ages ago, and Casper Labs is working with IBM as well. Bullish. Now, moving on, let's go to CryptoMeter.io and see where the money's been flowing. Bitcoin sitting around 41818 is down at the moment. Let's check the buy flow and see where the money's been going. We've got Ethereum. We have Bitcoin, of course. Uh, we have Matic. We have Arbitrum, Litecoin. We have Optimism, I believe that is. Uh, yes, it is. And BUSD as well. Not that I care about that. Moving on, let's go to X and have a look here. I'm at the Wall Street Bull. Oz, go follow me on X. Thank you to those 5,800 people. You guys absolutely rock. You can still grab one of my XRP skull rings, by the way. They look insane. You need to grab one. I'm still leaving the code up there, BF40. You can grab one if you wish. XLM and Stella at Franklin Templeton. Have a listen to this. Hey, yeah. Anthony, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, and the funny thing about the Franklin Templeton partnership is that it actually started kind of without our knowledge because Franklin went to the SEC before even talking to us and they actually started their approval process back in like 2019, early 2020. And we found out about it because we saw an SEC filing. And then after that, of course, we started working with Franklin Templeton. But I just checked right before we came on, and they're just under 300 million in terms of the volume that they have with Ben. Insane. Rosie Rios right here. Thank you, by the way, to Good Morning Crypto. Emily, thank Earth's you. There's a purpose. It's a function that facilitates cross-border payments. It's not some store of value, kind of arbitrary uh, uh, value that is not pegged to anything. This is actually what legitimate financial institutions use. I joined the board. There you go. Uh, now, again, I'm not going to get into that Michael Saylor interview because it's going to be too long right here. Yes, Bitcoin is on the front page of Bloomberg. We have Stuart Alderotti here. Listen to this. And with the XRP ledger, which is a blockchain, using its digital asset XRP, which is crypto asset like Bitcoin or like Ethereum, it's, we can move the value real time and the founding mission of the initial brilliant engineers who put all of this together, their vision was the internet of value. Just like you can move in, just like I can send an email now across the world. And I don't know what server the recipient was on and the recipient doesn't know what server I'm on. I probably don't know what server I'm on. I like can hit send in that email seamlessly, instantaneously, moves to the receiver and essentially very very nice right there Stuart Alderati legend Coinbase CEO says Bitcoin may be the key to extending Western civilization that is nice and of course we've got Ripple advertising in Times Square that would cost an absolute bomb just putting that out there yes Jim Cramer putting out the goods Bitcoin rally won't last thank you Jim I appreciate that Bitwise also updating uh their uh, bitcoin uh, etf there's so many etfs it's wild let's go to coin market cap yes my watch lists i do have my portfolio list and the banking coins i'm going to quickly end up here but these are the gems in my opinion right here bitcoin ethereum xrp solana we also have xlm hedera quant iota casper flare Sello, world coin as much as i hate the iris thing energy web carbon credits guys are going to be huge on the blockchain and that is it very, very nice coins right here. That is all on the Patreon, by the way. Join up. Anyway, I'm out of here, Bulls. Thank you very much. I will speak to everyone very soon and uh, hopefully have my bots in profit again after my big stuff up with them. But uh, this happens with trial and error. So slowly creeping my way back into profit, which is really nice. Just have a look on my other screen. Let's just have a look quickly before I end up here. There you go. Back in profit. Nice. Anyway, join up to the Patreon, Bulls. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Peace out. Bye.